Did you hear that quaking sound? That was DC and Diamond Distributors parting ways. Let's talk about this massive news for the comic industry. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm Stevie Nostalgia and we got a little update on DC Comics. But first we wanted to remind everybody, if you're looking for your place for all your comic book news, rumors, and reviews, all while looking for the best and positive in the characters and publishers that we all love, make sure you hit that like button and press subscribe. Well, many of us are just fans of this content. We love comic books, we love comic book movies, TV shows, and everything in between. But many people are unassociated with the business side of the house. Now, in case you didn't know, comic books are put out to stores by distributors, and DC has had a long-term relationship with Time and Comics. Now, when you talk to people about Time and Comics, you'll get some varied stories, and we're not going to get into what I personally think of them. I can only say that I would encourage everybody to reach out and hear about other people's experiences. I've heard some positive stories, and I've heard a lot of negative stories, and that's where this new story plays in. Now, according to the guys over at The Hollywood Reporter, DC Comics will no longer use Diamond as a distributor, and apparently notify all their retailers Friday morning. Now, going forward, all product fulfillment will be done by Lunar Distributions and UCS Comic Distributors for all their periodical releases, and Penguin Random House will now be the place for all DC Comic graphic novels and collector's editions. Now, there's a lot of stuff in this email that isn't really pertinent to the story, but we do know orders will be placed through Diamond through June the 1st. Now, a spokesman from DC told The Hollywood Reporter, After 25 years, DC and Diamond Comics distributors are ending their long-standing relationship. Moving forward, comic book retailers can obtain their DC books from Penguin Random House, or the books in periodicals through Lunar or UCS comic book distributors. DC continues to be committed to providing them direct market, the best in-class service, and the fans the greatest comic books. Now, much of the landscape changed earlier this year due to the COVID crisis worldwide, and their books had been exclusively distributed by Diamond Comics, which, for the most part, holds a virtual monopoly on comic book distribution throughout the United States. When the epidemic started, Diamond closed and followed it by announcing they would actually withhold payments to publishers. That probably ruffled feathers over at DC. DC then turned to two fairly new created companies, Lunar Distribution and UCS Comic Distributors, to handle the comics while Diamond was closed down. Now, up until now, DC and Diamond had said they would continue to work together after distribution was up and running again, but clearly not. Now, this is likely to really hurt Diamond. DC is the second biggest distributor in the country, and it's really bad news for them. The only upside I see is maybe this does open a little bit of room for some independent publishers to slip in there with Diamond and maybe get their books more looks around the country. Apparently, Diamond has had no comment so far because, you know, this is really bad news for them. But we'll have to wait and see how this shakes out in the landscape. The only thing I really want out of it is a better situation for comic distributors and sellers. My local seller is not a big fan, and he feels like he's been raked over the coals by them many times but had no other choice because they were effectively a monopoly. Although this doesn't mean that getting set up with a new distributor won't be a big pain for all of these comic sellers. What do you guys think? Are you happy to see Diamond Comics take a bit of a fall here? Or do you think this is a mistake for DC? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.